as I've said, this vlog isn't just about me, so it's about everyone and sharing experiences and how things are. So today I've interviewed someone who's a very good friend of mine, uh, JC, um, about his cancer and his, uh, he's got leukemia. Uh, so here's his story. Do you know what? Sit? I've got two ah. dogs in the most silly dog in the world. What are you doing, sir? What are you doing? I mean, yes, I don't, I don't know. What are you doing? Come on. Okay, sit. Okay, I've been over sit. We need to look at the camera. Sit. Voila, voila. voila. Right. Let's take that. Just, just... Voila. So, hello. Hello. It's actually there. Oh, wow. Oh, okay. well. It's over there. We've got, we got some dogs. We've got some dogs. Uh, We've got some more details. This is JC. Also, are you filming? I'm filming oh, now. That was fun, that was. That was sorry. fun. <laughs> sorry, I'm so sorry. Okay, oh, oh, sorry about that. Okay, have you go then? Have you sit? Voila. You sit. <laughs> right. Voila. Voila. Here we go. Voila. Stop. Voila. 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 Okay. Voila. Voila. Okay. Here we are. Oh, wow. Here we are. <laughs> voila. Now we can do the interview. Voila. 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 Okay. So, this is JC. Uh, JC. And, and yeah, <laughs> would you like to introduce us to the dogs? Oh yeah, this is Abby. You know, this is Nova. I know that. They, they, well, you can see the tail anyway. So, <laughs> yeah, and I'm you here. Might see. Exactly. You can I'll see show the all the outtakes of them jumping around and everything. Right, okay. They're amazing. But you've got uh, you've got cancer as well, haven't I you? I do. Yeah. Um, I've got leukemia, and I live with six percent of leukemia. So my blood gets treated every three months, and I have to live with it. They can't cure it. But it's what it is. So some days it's good, some days it's bad. But hey ho, yeah. you know, it's, it's, it's have to live. Well. But look, if you're going, treatment is not easy. It does affect you a lot. It could affect the brain, of course. But hey ho, have to live with this. And who knows what the next few months will be. It does create some um, small growth or tumor, which needs to be removed time to time. But I've so accepted it, you know, it's not easy. I'm about 62 kilos on me, no pain, but hey ho, I have to keep going. And that, that's life, isn't it? If, it's if you, life. If you've got it's cancer, life. it's important to just carry on as normal, isn't it? Really? It is. I have to carry on as normal. I looked at all the food, and um, of course, my nutritionist would say, look, don't eat any processed sugar, don't eat that. I can't live like that. I can't deprive myself of not eating, not being happy. Physically, I'm very insecure because, of course, I'm a slim guy now. I'm not used to be as big as I was. But, hey ho, I just accept it. I live with it. I just live with it. I've, I've found that as well, that I've found that I'm quite insecure with the way that I feel about myself it personally. Is. And, I, and I think the problem is you, you, you always think people look at you in a certain way. You always think the other would judge you. But the people don't have the understanding what it is and what emotionally you go through. It's more than anything. Um, is the emotion and I think if you start to talk about around you I think people sort of listen to you but they're just running away you know and you know in case of pity or charity you just live with an illness which sadly is a constant battle you know but it's what it is but yeah physically I feel very insecure very insecure myself it's, it's a hard hard thing to cope with isn't it it's just I know you have to have quite a lot of treatment it, Same as I, I, yeah, I do as well. It is. Treatment's been a, the problem is the treatment's been an ongoing treatment from one specialist to the other. I've been referred, 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 like new staff, come back, new staff, and why? Until literally I decided myself to be referred to Germany, to some specialist, and they saved my life. They saved my life. You know, without that, I won't be here today because the two first six, six months treatment failed and I was ready to go. But this said, this saved my life. So. You know, after your advice as well, I've been looking at Germany and speaking to some other people in Germany about it. Exactly. And it may be a good place to, for me to look for um, answers for my type of cancer I, I, as well. I, I, think, I think, I mean, Germany specializes in like leukemia. Uh, what is interesting is to look at some professor on any case they've been and said, what would you suggest me? Or can you see something they can't see? And that's what happened with me. With the treatment, they said, you're actually killing these patients because this is what you have not seen. And what shocked me the most, I spent my time for almost 18 months at the hospital on and off, and they couldn't see anything, and it was, I was one of us to go. So that's, I think, you have to give yourself your own chance to see anywhere worldwide, you know, America or Switzerland or Germany, I think, yeah. what you can do. Yeah, of course, you you've got to look for your answers wherever you can at exactly. the end of the day and look for them sensibly, I'm guessing, and look for them in a realistic way. Exactly. The, the only thing people <clears throat> think you're strong, I don't know if we're strong, we just 
live with it and accepting it on the yeah. way it is and it's there but I don't know how strong we are or if we are strong I don't know when people know see me I doing really well quite a lot. <laughs> because I get upset so <clears throat> much and even to this day I mean when I look at myself I, I can't fit myself you know and I'm like I'm more upset than strong but yeah it, that's something that people it, tend to yeah. say I'm brave or they have a lot of respect for me but there's no bravery in it you've got to deal it, with exactly. it exactly and you're all surrounding <clears throat> when you talk about it you've got people who understand it but people only listen but they don't show any understanding they don't want to understand they don't want to know until yeah. maybe one day they get affected yeah that's, a, that's another a common misconception well. with cancer exactly. as well people don't really understand it until it affects them it, it, exactly and they always say why or how but sometimes you don't want the answer yourself and i say well if i knew the answer the magic answer i wish i could have it yeah of and course I if wish. we knew how to cure ourselves exactly. we'd do it in a heartbeat oh, wouldn't God, we? yeah exactly i mean look with look with fabio there's no cure that's exactly <laughs> that's it now that's where we are now that, yeah we, we, we've got no cure we're the this twin point. brother of uh, misabi <laughs> that's it exactly Okay, that's, and that's we're just we trying become. to cope with um, it. Yeah, but I mean, dog keeps you going as well. But no, it's not easy, I think. And sometimes it hurts you you're more mm. upset than hurt because it's no answer. Yeah. I mean, for me, that treatment just keeps me going. How long? I don't know. I yeah. don't know. Every three months, I'm really anxious more than anybody else in the world could be. You know, when I got my result and they say, well, this is what it is. You've what just next? got to rough with the smooth you got it swings exactly. and roundabouts like people say exactly you just go with it one last question for you yep. dude if you could give everyone who watches this a little bit of advice what would it be oh well an advice oh god uh don't be influenced by any media anything online or what people would tell you just listen yourself and think what you think can be good for you that's the main thing and try to accept the whole situation on the way it is, for what it is. Don't yeah. try to go deeper, find more information and say, um, she must be away. Uh, just try to live with it on the way it is. Because then it goes, it twists your brain too much. I think it's torture, it's torture. <laughs> don't torture yourself friendly. You don't go anywhere. You yeah. don't go anywhere. No, and another question, I know I said that was the last one, but I've got one more for you. How did you find out that you had cancer? Uh, the word find out simply, um, I had a pneumonia, but then I thought it was very, very heavy fever. But when I say heavy fever, the mattress was a sponge of water. And then, literally, when they took some sample, immediately the blood cells in black. And they said, I'm afraid you've got cancer, we don't know what's up, but that's what it is. And that's, uh, I mean, I had the, the, the results on the same day. And everything went on from biopsies to treatments and biopsies and everything. Mm. And it just went on. And that's the problem because. Initially, I was refed and refed and refed instead of being treated immediately. So within that, everything spread at 80 percent, which means at that time they could have said and said, said and said, look, that's what we're going to do. They have not done it, so they say, I'm sorry, we we'll just give you 10 months to live. And yeah, that's, that's what they've done with me. And that's what it is. And I went from one specialist to the other to the other in the meantime without knowing exactly what it is and where and how, you know, and the waiting time. It was just awful, awful. That's, it, that's what we're finding with my it's cancer awful. and everything. It's, it's finding those people who will treat you in, with enough time and also look at your case properly to actually find it, a way to exactly. cure it. Exactly, <coughs> and the problem is every time you sit down with them as an answer, you don't want to give you the perspective of the case, like a definition, but they don't go deep straightforward into the subject like that and contrast to look, that's what it is, that's what we're going to do. You know, no, we get referred. Oh, I need a second opinion. Those drugs might not work. Then you have to go back to all your biopsies, to your allergy test, everything, all that. But in the meantime, everything's spread and you get affected more and more and more and you're going downhill. And it's back on square one again. It's, a, it's an awful uh, scenario. No nice scenario at all. It's a horrible thing, yeah. Oh, it is, it is. JC, all I can say is good luck, dude. Love you a lot. Yeah, I know. And you're going to look awesome. after my dog for the weekend. And Thank you very much. He's going to look after the weekend. Again, exactly. Yeah. So, uh, uh, but we can make it. We will make it. We, we will make, make it. it. And if she can as well, she's getting blind, but look, she's happy. So she's lovely. We can make it as well. <laughs> <laughs> Abby, thank you for showing the tail and the backside. And your bum's too big.